How's it guys? As you can see behind me, arrivals. Um, I have just arrived in Venice for my little trip with Aperol. Now, I just need to find... There's a person who should be waiting here for me. I would imagine they might be standing in orange. But there's a couple of people in orange who are not holding Aperol signs. I see something. There it is. Aperol. This is mad. I think this is where our boat is supposed to be, but you can see you've got these sort of speedboat taxis. I have never landed in an airport and then transferred somewhere by boat. Check out this. I just want to show you this. Pretty cool. This is all glass, broken up glass. I think, now correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that uh, Venice is apparently known for its glass. So that's cool if that is an homage, an homage to that. Otherwise, it might just be that they just they, it's just glass there. This is our boat, our taxi. That's our driver. Vamano, no, what do they say in Italian? I don't know what they say. It's not Vamanos. That's what we did earlier. Plane coming in. <laughs> this is cool. I'm guessing it's Venice. Here's our first bridge. Yay! Yo, this place is beautiful already. We've only just set for water foot. Webbed foot, flipper. We've only just said flipper inside the city walls. This guy just did the sickest drift around this corner. Mad. Quite busy. Bit of traffic, afternoon traffic, lunchtime. Check this out, right on the edge here. These look like oysters. They must be. There's a crab. <gasps> Can you go see the crab? So, for those who don't know, Venice was built on a lagoon, so it makes sense that all this sort of marine life is here. This is our hotel here. Splendid. Splendid Venice. <laughs> Alright, here we go, room 126. Yeah, I was going to get a quick room tour. Here is sweaty me. The bathroom, all done with marble. Sure. Can you be more Italian? And then here is the bedroom. Nice big mirror view of a canal down here. But the boat, oh, that boat just pulled up, I think. And a little alleyway. They're doing some construction, so I'm keeping the window closed. Also because it's aircon in here and it's hot AF. I'll check this thing out, right? I saw this thing here. I just thought it was like a menu, remote -y type thing. But take me out. I'm your free travel buddy. Never worry about roaming charges or getting lost. The handy smartphone is free to use during your stay. Unlimited local international calls, free internet access. That's crazy. Look at the detail in this lift. Oh, sorry. Oh, of course, to cool off, we have grabbed some Aperol spritz. This is delicious. You guys can talk in the background. It's totally fine. I'm going to film you as well. This is Georgie from Campari, and this is Eilish. She is a journalist. Where do you where do you journal? Uh, I journal at the Evening Standard. Evening Standard. <gasps> I love the Evening Standard. Yeah, I read it on the on the med, not the Metro, the Tube. That's what it's called. No, yes. Oh wait, is that a different one? <laughs> wait, what is the? Is the Evening there, Standard not the? Yes, it is. Yeah. There is also another um, another a Evening morning Standard. Paper. Okay. A morning paper called the Evening Standard. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we have left the hotel and entered the maze that is Venice. If you look behind me, you can see we've got a meeting point of three streets. Well, not really. It's one street with uh, with one meeting point. And uh, this place is amazing already. We just, so me and the UK contingent, the only person that you didn't meet was Pascal. And yeah, we're gonna go for lunch somewhere. I don't know where. Antica Carbonera. The menu has lots of seafood, I believe. Baked scallops, lagoon shrimp, spider crab. Yo, 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 yo. Looks Italian to me. If it looks Italian, it smells Italian, there's pasta. It's Italian. Earlier I mentioned that Venice is famous for glass. Venice is apparently known for its glass. And this is the specific type of glass called Murano. Murano glass. Murano. And it is blown on Murano Island. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. So this is Pascal. I introduced everyone else on the vlog, so it's just you that was missing. And then who else is joining us? Danielle. Danielle. <laughs> from the UK. From the UK <laughs> as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What did you get to drink, Georgie? What did you, what did you order? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, yo. That's amazing. Oh, all the food looks so good. We've got scallops, we've got mozzarella, parma ham, oh, lagoon shrimps with uh, polenta there. The food is amazing. Especially these little meat lollipops. <laughs> Usara macaroncini with langoustines. That's what we've got there. And then we've. Oh, damn! Just a little bit of freshly blacked crack pepper. Yeah. We are rolling out of Antica Carbonera. That food was so good. Also, it was air conned in there and it's not out here. So that's a stark contrast. I had a little mini nap in the room and we are back out it is still sweltering but the nice thing is because it's gotten later obviously the angle of the sun changes that's science so the light in these little alleyways and stuff isn't nearly as harsh well this is going to be a good photo if he goes if he continues to go backwards check it. so you've got matey in the gondola right here and then this frames up really nicely on the 24 mil i've switched over to my 24 to 7. And we are off. We are going to a little bar vibe called H2No, I believe, which is a good punny name. We have set off uh, to go to our little Bacaro, uh, which is a little bar, I believe. I might be saying it wrong. But we are now on top of Ponte da Rialto, so, something like that, with a beautiful view. Nice. You guys should be able to hear some hunchbacky boys clapping the tunes in the background. I don't know what this tower is, but it looks cool. All brick. Maybe someone can translate some of that stuff. I don't know. All that stuff there, probably. It's obviously part of this churchy thing. We are in here, H to know. We, they reserve tables for us outside, but it's so hot, guys. You don't understand. Look, the dog's even panting. These little things look delicious. And we've got, oh, I feel like this might be coming for us, actually. Little snacks. Hi. And we've got here the Aperol, 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 Aperol. Ooh. See, so hot the dog barked. So I was right, these little thingamabobs were for us. We've got this one that looks like some kind of prawn or shrimp or langoustine, maybe. That's definitely prawn. And these are lagoon shrimp. I'm not sure what that is, but this all looks delicious. And of course, we've got Aperol as well. Okay, we've been given our Aperol coasters with... Oh, whoopsie. There we go. Nice one. With someone's Instagram name on the back here. So, the way that it works is we all sent ours through and you go Instagram you go, you go Instagram go to your account you go onto the side here you go name tag then you go scan the name tag hello and you line that line that up do you need a tap a number I'm lining it up. Why is it so difficult? Because I'm trying to do it on two phones at once. So you scan the name tag and it pulls up someone's profile. And this person, Mania Blaze, uh, is from Switzerland or based in Switzerland. So she's not part of our group here because we were all split into groups. But we will meet them all at the next bar. And then everyone goes and finds the person with their name tag. It's a really cool idea. It's like a nice little icebreaker. Then you go speak to someone and you're like, hey, I've got your tag. And then you exchange until you get yours back, I think. There we go. That's it. Get it, boy. Hunchbacky boy. Clapping the tunes. Ding. Dong. This is how ingrained Aperol Spritz is in Italian culture. This isn't even part of our little collaboration. And there's glasses and tons of Aperol Spritz going around. We are finally at the meeting point of the Joyful Collection, which is everybody, all of these people here, all here with Aperol. Massive. 100 year birthday, it's a big bash. Big one. It's a big one. We have come to the Rialto Bridge, and I was just taking some photos for Danny, 
aka Danielle, Danielle Vanier. Yes. Did I get it right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Your, hand, your handle will pop up on the screen for everyone. Amazing. Just getting some photos for you. <laughs> the girls and I are off to dinner, and guess where we're going? The same place we went for lunch because it was so good. We were just told by a lovely old Italian lady that. Give me the facts. Okay, so the local fact is that this is the only bridge from which you can see the Campanile of Piazza San Marco. Which, if we turn the camera here, you can see the beautiful there we go. Tower. Beautiful, that's where the Hunchbacky Boys Club the tunes. Yeah, Boom. Here we are back at Antica Carbonera. Starters are here, and you can guess what was so delicious at lunch that we got some more. And they didn't have any more of the mozzarella because we finished it at lunch probably. So they've given us these little mozzarella balls in a big tomato, made it look nice and fancy. Olives on the side, lovely. You enjoying that, Danny? <laughs> Your cocktails here. Down it. So a couple of us have ordered the seafood pasta and it looks like they are plating it right here. Sorry, I hope you don't mind me filming. No, no, it's good. I think I ordered this one, but that one looks better. I might go for that one. Oh wait, I might have got this one. I think I got this one. Oh my god. There we go, the show is over, the food is here. Well, the show is not actually technically over because there's the Parmesan show. The rules are you're not allowed to have Parmesan with seafood. So they've got the ragu, which is beef, so they're good. They're Gucci. Yeah, there's just, oh, it's. <laughs> oh, we have had another delicious meal at. Oh, I already forgot the name. Carbonera. Antica Carbonera. Antica Carbonera. Another delicious meal there. We might even go back tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, no, this is a mask shop here. We definitely go past. Yeah, we go. We're trying to orientate ourselves back to the hotel from the restaurant. And funny thing is, we know our way by all the shops, but half of the shops are closed because you're like you pass to this shop, then you pass to that shop, then you pass to that shop. I don't remember this shop though. All righty, we are back in the room. Yo, so ready for bed. I, did I mention that I had a little nap today? I had a little nap today, 26 minutes. I set a timer, 26 minutes, and then went for a nap because I once read somewhere the most efficient nap time is 26 minutes in terms of it can increase your productivity by 33% or something like that. Ooh, there we go. While we've been out to dinner and at the events and stuff, oh, they have delivered a little package. What is this? 100 years of joy. What? Oh, that's a earphone holder. I actually already have one, but Sav could definitely use one of these because if you guys know, Sav's cables always tangled. So there you go, Sav, this one's for you. What else do we have here? We've got the little Aperol Spritz pin badge, that's cool. What do we have in here? <laughs> when the moon hits your eyes. It looks like a wakeboarder. <laughs> Actually not that bad. And then obviously, this is a liter bottle, hey? Yeah, jeez. Liter bottle of Aperol and this, Orange Chronicles, a graphic novel. This, I feel like we might be going to a thing tomorrow where this is going to be sort of released or previewed or, well, not previewed because obviously this, it's already released. So that is a wrap from me. In the morning, uh, the guy next door, I'm not sure if I introduced you guys to him this morning, sorry, because obviously I've just come off of almost 24 hours of travel. I'm still not even sure what day we're on, but uh, the guy that I met this morning from Germany, Philip, he was saying he wanted to go and shoot tomorrow morning. So sunrise is like 5.45 or something. So we're gonna aim to get up at six, I think, six, around about six, go shoot for an hour, and come back, get breakfast, or take a nap, or whatever. And then we've got to meet in the lobby at 8.30, because we're going to uh, Padua, or Padua, depending on where you're from and how you say it, because that is the home of Aperol. So they're gonna give us a full tour, we're gonna to go see everything. I'm looking forward to that. And hopefully it won't be as hot as today, because I don't know if I said it enough times, but it's hot air It is still sweltering, but it's so hot. See, so hot the dog barked. Today was a 
cooker, absolute cooker. Yeah, thanks to Aperol for inviting me to this. It's their 100th birthday, if I haven't made that clear. For those of you who are wondering, this, these videos are not sponsored videos. I'm just doing these because I'm on the trip and it's exciting and it's something different. I'm in Italy, I love Italy. I've never been to Venice, so yeah. If you want to see some of the sponsored content that I've been doing, that's all on Instagram. If you were following along, you would have already seen it. Unfortunately, my vlogs are still not caught up to my uh, current day life. I've been trying to get there, but we will get there. I'm knackered, so I'll check you guys in the morning for another spritz of mat. Ha! Worked it into the bins. <laughs>